Good evening, everyone. I would like to call the City Caucus meeting to order for Tuesday, for Monday, November the 23rd, 2020, to order. We have two public hearings this evening. If the clerk can please read public hearing number one. Public hearing number one regarding the DSIC Downtown Schenectady Assessment District 2021 budget. Thank you. Public hearing number two, if the clerk could please read. Public hearing number two, regarding the Upper Union Street Business Improvement District budget. We have 12 items for original consideration this evening. Item one, I would like to ask for a motion to table this and bring it back to committee before the discussion. Ms. Porterfield and uh, Mr. Kosha have additional uh, questions that needed to be answered at the committee level. So can I have a motion, please? Uh, Mr. Mudavaran, I'll make the motion to bring this back to committee. Can I have a second? Second. That was me, second. Thank you. Do I need a... Um... A vote on that motion, Mr. Mudavaran. We need a vote on this? Yes, sir. Yeah. Ms. Michael, can you please um, do a roll call? Okay. Mr. Kozier is absent. Porterfield? Uh, aye. So we'll take it back to committee. Ms. Duval Lunas? I'm sorry, I did not hear you. We're taking this back to committee? Yes. Yes. Okay. Ms. Perrazzo is absent. Ms. Patrick? Aye. Mr. Palomini? Mr. Palomini? Hello, can you hear me? No, can't hear you. Mr. Yes. Okay, and that was a yes for Mr. Palomini as well. He put it um, through the chat. Okay, thank you. This item will be back in committee before the discussion. Item number two, the clerk could please read. Item number two for original consideration, a resolution calling for a public hearing regarding Utilizing the CARES Act HUD funding, CDBG-CV-3. Discussing committee without objection and consent. Item number three, the clerk can please read. Item number three for original consideration, a resolution authorizing the city to enter into a contract with the New York State Division of Homeland Security and Emergency Services to secure grant funding. Discussing committee without any objection. On consent. Item number four, the clerk can please read. Item number four for original consideration, a resolution setting the annual fee for professional photographers at the Central Park Rose Garden. Discussing committee without objection on consent. Item number five, the clerk can please read. Item number five for original consideration, a resolution appointing Kim Rainey, Richard Antical, Chris Brarigan, Anissa Wahid, Michael Burns, Austin Fisher, and Heather Peterson to the Downtown Special Assessment District and Downtown Schenectady Improvement Corporation. Discussing committee without objection on consent. Item number six, if the clerk can please read. Item number six for original consideration, a resolution authorizing the allocation of $70,000 in CARES Act stimulus funding to the Hamilton Hill Arts Center and authorizing of an agreement therewith. Discussing committee without objection on consent. 
Item number seven, the clerk can please read. Item number seven for original consideration, a resolution authorizing the sale of a vacant lot, 201 Division Street. Discussing committee without objection and consent. Item number eight, if the clerk can please read. Item number eight for original consideration, a resolution authorizing the sale of 234 McClellan Street. Discussed in committee without objection and consent. Item number nine, if the clerk can please read. Item number nine for original consideration, a resolution authorizing the sale of 1075 Lakeview Avenue. Discussing committee without objection and consent. Item number 10, if the clerk can please read. Item number 10 for original consideration, a resolution authorizing the sale of vacant lot 1202 4th Avenue. Discussing committee without objection and consent. Item number 11, if the clerk can please read. Item number 11 for original consideration, a resolution authorizing the sale of 1527 Foster Avenue. Discussing committee without objection and consent. Item number 12, if the clerk can please read. Item number 12 for original consideration, a resolution authorizing the issuance of revocable permit number 656 to Maxon Alco Holdings for lamp post decor that will overhang the city's right of way on Harbor Way. Discussing committee without objection on consent. If there's nothing more to come before the City Council Caucus, I will ask for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 We are adjourned. I would like to call the City Council meeting to order for Monday, November 23rd, 2020. And I would like to call on Ms. Porterfield for the prayer invocation. Let us pray. Dear God, we ask that you will be with us tonight, Lord, in this meeting as we go forth, Lord, to do the work of the people, the work that you have assigned to our hands. God, right now, we also pray for all the people who are suffering during this pandemic. Lord, whether they're suffering physically, mentally, or financially, God, we ask that you will help them get through and give them the wherewithal to make it. And God, for those who are helping all the people, we ask that you will be with them and let, let them not be weary in well-doing and give them the strength to carry on. And Lord, during the season of Thanksgiving, we wanna just say thank you for all the blessings that you've bestowed upon us. Thank you for the opportunity to help others. Thank you for all that you do, God, in this city and in this world. We ask that you will continue to bless us and help us to move forward and to be kind to one another because you never know what another person is going through. These are all blessings we ask in your name. Thank God. Amen. Thank you. I would like to, I would like to call on Ms. Patrick to lead the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Ms. Michael, can you please complete the roll call? Mr. Kozier, absent. Porterfield? Here. Ms. Zaluski Wazunas? Here. Ms. Perrazzo is absent. Ms. Patrick? Here. Mr. Palomini? Here. Mr. Mutuverin? Present. Thank you. Thank you. Public hearing number one regarding DSIC downtown Schenectady Assessment District 2021 budget. Ms. Michael, do you have any comments or submit, submitted for this public hearing number one? There were no submissions. So, thank you. Sorry, there's no submissions for the public hearing. Is there anyone in the attendance who would like to speak on behalf of the public hearing on number one? Please indicate.
seeing none, this public hearing number one is closed. Public hearing number two, regarding the Upper Union Street Business Improvement District 2021 budget. Ms. Michael, do you have any comment that was submitted regarding this public hearing? No, there were no um, submissions. Is there anyone in the attendance who would like to speak on public hearing number two? Please indicate. Public hearing number two is closed. Thank you. Can I have an approval for the minutes for November 19th, 2020? Move. So moved. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Communication and petition from our city clerk. Communications presented to City Council for Monday, November 23rd, 2020. Under official, there were none. Under general, there was a letter dated November 9th from Chad Putman addressing city council's concern regarding allowing backyard chicken. He wrote about potential exposure to disease and bacteria and stated that to guard against that would only require proper hand washing. He addressed neighbors' complaints, workload on city staff, and groundwater contamination. There was an email from Camille Sasanowski debate, uh, dated November 10th expressing her concerns on allowing backyard chickens and urging council to deny the vote. There was a letter dated November 13th from Robert Caro of the Schenectady Foundation in support of backyard chickens. There was another email from Chad Putman dated November 13th on behalf of Josh Kilmer Purcell and Dr. Brent Ridge in support of backyard chickens. Then there were 11 additional emails from Catherine Winter, Jean Reeser, Stephanie McDarby, Gina Balzerano, Jeff Hoteling Jr., Fred DeRocher, Fred DeRocher Jr., Lisa Fine, Riley Hart, Frank Kopecki, Catherine Marsh Wolfram, Sharon Carter, and Aaron Campana, all in support of Backyard Chicken. An email dated November 18th from Sharon Carter in support of CDBG3 for 11 small organizations with programming for youth in our city. An email dated November 19th from Tom Carey, president of the Schenectady United Neighborhood Association, explaining that they are seeking further information from other neighborhood associations regarding the sense they, they get regarding backyard chickens in their neighborhood. An email dated November 23rd from Chad Putman turning in petitions for backyard chickens, and information regarding an online survey conducted regarding the backyard chickens. Um, for petitions, there was a petition of 38 signatures received today, November 23rd, 2020, in favor of keeping poultry in the city of Schenectady. Thank you. Thank you. Privilege of the floor related to the legislative agenda. Ms. Michael, do you have any comment that was submitted regarding this, uh, the agenda item? No, there were not, thank you. Is there anyone in attendance who would like to speak on behalf of the legislative agenda? Please indicate. If there's none, I declare this uh, privilege of the floor regarding legislative agenda closed. Approval of the legislative consent agenda may have a motion. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Privilege of the floor regarding general city business. Ms. Michael, do you have any submissions from the public regarding general city business? No, I do not. Is there anyone in the, in the attendance who would like to speak on the general city business? Please indicate and I will unmute you and please indicate your name. Chad Putman, please go ahead. Good afternoon uh, or good evening, uh, Mayor McCarthy, City Council President, uh, City Council members. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to address the City Council tonight. 
My name is Chad Putman. I am a resident of the city of Schenectady in Woodlawn. And over the last several weeks, I've been championing and advocating with friends and neighbors and allies throughout the city of Schenectady to encourage the city council to revise the current subjective and restrictive code in relation to backyard chickens in the city of Schenectady. Um, I believe at this juncture, it seems that it's most appropriate at this time to for the city council to come up with a compromise. And I do appreciate that council president John Mutabaran has continued to keep this item on the agenda uh, for discussion and ongoing follow up. And also uh, council member Lisa Perrazzo um, with her suggestions that she proposed during the last uh, committee meeting uh, specific to uh, organizing a pilot program that would allow for a compromise, recognizing that there are folks that don't feel comfortable with the idea of permitting backyard chickens or hens in the city of Schenectady, but that a limited permit pilot process is a good compromise um, that uh, could be uh, drafted and created by the city council. Uh, we could use the NISC unit ordinance as the template so that that won't have to be written, but it could be used as a template for a pilot program, allowing a limited number of permits for one year or two years. Um, I believe, you know, we've certainly demonstrated through petitioning, uh, now having turned in at least 45 petition signatures in support of revising the city code in support of backyard chickens or hens in the city of Schenectady. Um, I have heard directly from at least three city council members who have told me that they would vote against revising the code. Again, this is why I think it's important that a compromise uh, be made in this situation and that we still have four other council members uh, that can uh, move forward with this item and move it out of committee. I uh, lastly just want to two things, address the online survey uh, that we started this past weekend through our Facebook social media, um, urban chicken lovers, hashtag Schenectady. And uh, thus far we've had uh, 62 individuals who completed the online survey that identified as living in the city of Schenectady. These individuals are representing 14 neighborhoods. Uh, some of the top responding neighborhoods included Upper Union Street, Woodlawn, Stockade, Mount Pleasant, and Eastern Avenue. There was a 97% positivity rate in relation to encouraging the city council to revise the city code uh, to allow backyard hens as a source of nutritious food, eggs, organic fertilizer, and to help reduce food waste. 90% of the folks that responded also supported a limited permit process and offered up a variety of numbers as far as the number of permits, anywhere from 50 to 35 to 20. Um, I did share a link to the outcome of the survey that we've had thus far with city council, the mayor and the city clerk this afternoon. And I hope you had a chance to look through it because it also gave uh, folks an opportunity to identify why is it that you support or oppose backyard chickens or hens in the city of Schenectady. And some of those responses thus far have included self-sufficiency, hens, no roosters, an organic alternative to grocery store eggs, locally sourced food to support the pilot program to learn what happens. I think we should have the ability to make the decision for ourselves as long as we it's a responsible decision. I have chickens, a healthy source of food for our community. Why not? Environmentally friendly. I support backyard chickens, fertilizer, insect control, local eggs, self-sufficiency, fresh eggs. For all these reasons, why not? Those are just some of the comments that we've received. I also had an opportunity to table at the Schenectady Green Market uh, yesterday in the very chilly temperatures and snow flurries, uh, but it was uh, remarkable to have an opportunity to talk with community members and folks throughout the county. And I was um, uh, approached by several individuals 
even beyond the city of Schenectady. It looks like there's going to be momentum for folks uh, to get their local communities in both Glenville and Scotia to propose uh, revised ordinances to allow for backyard pens as well. So my suggestion in closing is to strongly encourage the city council uh, to move forward on a compromise in relation to this request. Um, there is momentum and the momentum will continue to grow in the county. And I hope that if I've demonstrated anything, I plan to be persistent, polite, and uh, successful in this endeavor. So I look forward to all of you supporting the cause. Thank you, Council President. Thank you, Chad. Ronald Soriano. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Um, most of you know who I am. Uh, I've sent a couple emails to the city council, every one of you, and never heard back from you at all. So the reason why I'm calling is uh, about the noise ordinance that states the construction loud noise is per uh, permitted to start at 6 a.m. and end at 9 p.m. Um, in the downtown uh, areas. This ordinance is outdated and was put into place at the time where less residents were living downtown. Residents have choos chosen to live in the downtown community, but the expectation is to live in a normal neighborhood and not awoken at unreasonable hours by loud construction and not to come home from work after a long day, only to hear construction until they go to sleep. Residents are doing, are serving and, and the neighborhoods are thriving with um, reasonable noise, clean space, adequate police presence, and action the community can take to help improve our living environment. This also is applicable for hotel guests who have chosen to stay in our downtown area for business or pleasure. My request has the support of the community. A more reasonable time would be possibly 7.30 a.m. and a closed time, a end time at 7.30. Um, please let me know if, if I may assist you with moving forward in this request, including any documentation that I can gather regarding the residents and other business owners that support this proposal. We are all excited as a community to see all the improvements and growth in the downtown, which may bring more residents and businesses, but hopefully with a good retention rate. Thank you for my consideration on this request. Thank you, Ron. Jay Cooper. Good evening. My name is Jay Cooper. Thank you for allowing me to speak. I'm a resident of downtown Schenectady. Uh, with the increase of residents in downtown Schenectady, green space is needed for dogs. At City Hall, there are outdated signs that request that animals be kept off of the lawn. And I'm proposing that these signs be removed or altered to allow responsible pet owners to utilize this green space. I've donated a pet way station to the downtown area, which is currently located at the post office on J Street. Other government sites, such as the post office, permit responsible pet owners to use their green space. The post office's signage welcomes pets, as long as they're picked up after. And with the altering of City Hall's signage, and perhaps a pet way station, this will prevent pet waste on city sidewalks, which has been occurring, and a more welcoming image for City Hall as more residents with pets move to downtown Schenectady. And as a side comment, there are very limited trash receptacles in downtown Schenectady, which is another le likely reason for pet waste found on sidewalks and other areas. This is generally not the case for City Hall, where there are more than enough trash cans, and some of these could be relocated to prevent pet waste and other trash downtown. Thank you again for allowing me to speak and for your consideration of my request. Thank you, Jay. There's no one else. I'll declare this portion closed. Miscellaneous business from my colleague. Please unmute yourself. Mr. Paul Manny. I mean, Mr. Mudavarin. Yeah. Ms. Patrick, go ahead, please. Hi, I just wanted to um, wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving, my colleagues on the council, as well as our residents that might be tuning in. Um, and I hope that everybody will stay safe and 
uh, follow the COVID guidelines so that we can continue to have a happy holiday season after Thanksgiving, but uh, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Mr. Ms. Ms. Aaron. Ms. Go ahead, please. Oh. This, that's Ms. Porterfield. Uh, Ms. Ms. Ka Ms. Karen, uh, and then Ms. Porterfield, if you don't mind. Okay. Sorry. Um, I, uh, I too wanted to wish everyone a, a safe and happy, healthy uh, Thanksgiving weekend and just remind everyone that, uh, you know, masks are needed, washing your hands are necessary, and um, please abide by the COVID guidelines because uh, we are seeing an increased number of cases right now. Um, and I do believe that uh, this coming Sunday, the green market moves inside to Proctor's. So uh, another reminder for everyone. Um, Thank you, Mr. Mudavaren, and everybody have a safe and uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Thank you, Ms. Porterfield. Thank you. Um, first, I want to remind everyone that um, December 1st is the last day to submit written comments um, for the police reform initiative. And so, um, you know, if you have something that you want to say, something that, you know, information that you feel needs to be considered when the documentation is being put together, uh, please make sure that you submit that inf information. And uh, the uh, email address is spdcollaborative at connectedpd.com. So December 1st, which is Tuesday, is the last day to submit any written comment. Um, just wanted to let folks know that the Show Love Where You Live initiative, which has been going on in Hamilton Hill, took a bit of a, um, a standstill while we were um, going through the initial parts of COVID. But um, now you'll see the trash cans are put out, um, especially on Albany Street. You'll see a nice visual. A lot of trash cans are out. And um, we plan to put the rest of them out by the end of this week and to have an unveiling. And just to remind folks that we're trying to keep our, our whole entire community clean. So this initiative in Hamilton Hill, you'll see the trash cans and we ask everyone to participate by disposing of their waste, but not their household waste, but the waste in the trash cans um, provided for public use. And other than that, I just want to wish everyone a very happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy your time with your family, be it virtual, whether you spend that time together and just stay safe and let's just continue to move forward and um, work our way through this, this ch these challenging times. Thank you. Thank you. Mayor McCarthy. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, just to echo my uh, colleagues' uh, words, uh, wishing everyone a uh, great Thanksgiving. Uh, but we're seeing an uptick in COVID cases across the country and locally. So the wearing a mask, washing your hands, practicing social distancing, it works. And we're seeing the, the potential for a vaccine coming out and we just need to uh, bide our time and uh, bear a little bit of inconvenience in doing these things so that we ourselves can stay healthy and our family and friends and our community as a whole can stay healthy and safe through the holiday season. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Mr. Mudavaran? Go ahead, sir, please. I'm sorry. I just received a message asking that something be clarified. I think it was uh, it was clear, but just to say again that um, the, that the proctor that the excuse me the green market will be moving inside of Proctor's on December sixth. Well, there will not be any green market this weekend, Thanksgiving weekend. So I just a message just popped up to just make sure that people were clear and not to show up downtown because they won't be there, but inside Proctor's on December sixth. Thank you. Um, like my colleagues, uh, I would like to take this opportunity to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. Please um, spend some quality times with your um, family, relatives, and friends. And, and do remember when you are celebrating to practice COVID-19 safety protocol as you go about your holiday planning and celebration. It's very important that you, you know, practice social distancing, wear your mask, and uh, respect our um, the protocol that is out there. May I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Second. All Second. in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank good night, you. Everyone. Be well, everyone, and good evening. Have a nice Thanksgiving. God bless. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>